What the? He came out of freaking no nowhere! Way. my way. Run! I'll go get shit faced every night, but I highly doubt God minds if you drink and shine on a Friday night. He probably got more important things to concern himself with. Fish around here. This is the tick fall. See some real characters around here. Uh Vito says you're reliable. Vito said you'd be expecting me. Took you long enough. I'm Jock Blanchard. Vito claims you can unfug this mess and get us working men back on a job. Maybe. Depends if your information's any good. Used to kick up to Vito's men Andy Toretto for union work. But now that Coyon Greco got Andy squeezing everybody for more dues. You don't pay, you don't get a work permit. Poor fucks even gotta use Greco's loudmouth buddies to collect. This Greco sounds like a real piece of shit. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. On top of that, Andy's gotta keep the permits under lock and key. Anything happens to those, oof. Ain't no work happening around here. I'll see what I can get out of Toretto's people. Toretto runs a tight ship, but you should be able to get some of his guys talking. Smart thing to do is avoid politics entirely. Race, the economy, any of them. Last new guy they brought in was just looking for an excuse to bend your ear about Jew bankers and the race problem. It was exhausting. Maybe.
help you. The secret to good gumbo? Always let it boil with the bones. I was quitting the union. Told them I'd find my own damn job. What'd they say? Sent a guy over to the house. Says I ain't quitting shit. But if I was serious about it, he was gonna see to my legs. You motherfuckers need to wait for your turn. Goddamn. I told him that What the shit was that? Bad. Next morning, my ass was down here bright and early. Run for your life! Next time, keep your damned mouth shut. What the hell is that? God damn gladly. He's dead! Get away from here! Did we lose him? Let's look this way.
What the fuck was that? We got ourselves a camp! Asshole bolted. Folks, 
swear I heard something. Christ, not this again. Hey, boy, did you get out of the house today? He starts talking to her hippie and I wore shit right to Lady Bird Johnson. Shit, that's loud. I boxed in. Help me out here. I boxed in. Help me out here. Holy sh.
job as you've done slowing work at the dock union. I'm surprised if ever. It was not out. Word is Andy Toretto's down at the dock union, demanding to know who's been stopping his people from collecting dues. Think he tipped off Greco to what's been happening? Nah. Knowing Andy, he'd probably see Greco in the ground next to you if he could. But he's a lifer, and if he's got a job to do, he's gonna goddamn well do it. Bad fucking situation all around. And it's about to get worse. Tell the boys they'll be back to work soon, Jock. You pissed Toretto off just enough that he's back at the dock union. You're gonna have to deal with him. Of that. Can't we just print up some more? Jesus Christ. Look, that's how it works. Those little slips of paper tell us who owes what. All that shit. Besides that, it's making us look weak. To who? The working men. They see us getting fucked. Well, what the hell was that? Your head down! He's fucking dropping us! Get out of here! Either you kill me, or that piss and Greco does. Well, since Greco ain't here. Dock Union's under control. Put some of you guys on it. I'll send them over. And Lincoln, just cause Greco's a dipshit doesn't mean he's a pushover. He'll probably send out some of his men, have him try and take you out. So watch your ass. Get your hands on Greco and rough him up all you want. But don't kill him. That's for me. I was in the third platoon company C of the 614 tank destroyer battalion during World War II. I trained as a medic. 
but I still carried a gun. Every man in our company was black. The army didn't know what to do with us other than they didn't want us fighting with the white men. Klimbach. Klimbach was that little French town up there near the border with Germany, and we were ordered to take it. Now, the crowds took out three of the four anti-tank guns we had, but there was no way in hell we were letting them get the better of us. We were determined to show we was just as good, if not better, than every other soldier in the service. I, I don't like talking about medals I got over there. Only way a man survives something like that is through the grace of God. Doesn't seem right celebrating a little piece of tin. No one knows I helped Lincoln except for you and John Donovan. Not that I'm keeping it a secret, mind you. Just that nobody ever came around and asked about it. Get someone out here to River Row for this cash. Sure thing, Cher. Heading your way now. All right. Better than I lose this. What are we handling today? Bonsoir, Cher.
Greco's in that building at the end of the block. A lot of whores in there. Probably face down a pussy right now. You got any muscle with him? Yeah, a couple of meatheads. I'll go around the front, you take the back. He tries to run, grab his ass. Nobody kills that prick but me. Fuck. Those are Marcano's guys. Back to the car, you drive. I'll cover us. Fuck it, that little prick gets away. Ha! Ha! Is, is that? How the fuck did Greco end up with my car? He's a little fuck, that's how. God damn it, why don't you just let Marcano handle this jackass? Marcano would just kill the little shit stain. I want to take my time. Besides, until I can get at Marcano directly, this is the next best goddamn thing. Point taken. Once I'm done with Greco, you cocksuckers are next! You fucks ready to die for this piece of shit, Greco! Huh? Shoot my car, Vito! Fuck! I ain't making any promises. No way I'm letting that dipshit get away. Stupid son of a bitch just left his car! I swear to God, this little shit's like a bad penny. Stick with him! Dinderites. Winger! Switching out ammo! Don't you lose sight of this fuck, Lincoln. Is that? How the fuck did Greco end up with my car? He's a little fuck, that's how. God damn it, why don't you just let my... Yes. Arcana would just kill the little shit stain. I want to take my time. Besides, until I can get at Marcano directly, this is the next best goddamn thing. Point taken. Go back to Sal, tell him he's done fucking Vito Scaletta! I ah, never mind, I'll tell her myself. Jesus fuck, Sal's guys don't let up, do they? Lincoln, I'm not gonna fucking die in this hunk of shit car with you. Cops are closing in. Hey, get the door. Yeah. Come on. Code 3-5, suspicious person and vehicle. Responding unit is... Oh, it's not one thing. The fucking cops are on our ass. Oh, what happened? You crossed the wrong motherfucker. That's what happened. Now shut the fuck up. Oh, God, hold the fuck down, you 
Back there, kiddo. Ride will be over soon. Cops are still on us. Lose them, Lincoln. Huh? Responding yep. unit. Visual yeah. contact with suspect lost. You chicken shit, motherfuckers. Let me go already. Back to your place. Yeah. Pull around to the chum shack in the back. And as for you, have a little dignity. Christ. Shit's going down. Give me back up. Watch out for cops. Don't want to get pulled over with this asshole in the back seat. Whew, shit. <laughs> for a couple of years there, I really thought I might be done with all the Jimmy Cagney bullshit. But here I am. Funny. I kind of figured you for more the Edward G. Robinson type. <laughs> Look at you, kid. You know, God's got a sense of humor, too. It's sick as shit, but that motherfucker's got one. You got your seatbelt on, asshole. You were getting ready to fucking kill me. I was just doing what Uncle Sal told me to do. Nah, that fuck never liked me. I get it. But this? You never tried anything like this before. I don't... I don't... Come on, Mikey. Why do you want me gone all of a sudden? He said you were a carpetbagger. Never should have been down here in the first place. Keep going, you got nine more! Fuck! Listen, Jesus, he was worried you knew about the casino! And so we're gonna play up to Leo and the commission! What casino? Answer the question. Uncle Sally's... You, you, you see that construction across the lake? He's building a casino over there! He wants to go legit! Turn this city into Las Vegas! Gambling's illegal! Uh, yeah, no shit, it's illegal! Uh, which is why he's paid a bunch of money to get the lost chain! Who else is involved in this? I don't know! I don't know, I swear it! <laughs> Look, I... I told 
told you what you wanted to know. You could have let me go now, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Stupid fucking prick. I'll clean this mess up. No reason for you to stick around. Remember our deal. I'm expecting to cut of everything you bring in. Hey, I know how this shit works. You'll get your money. There's a woman named Alma. Helps me out sometimes. Cuban. Mean as fuck. She talk to her, see if she needs anything. Might be an easy way to bring in some extra money. Where's she at? At the warehouse. All right. What are you gonna do with him? Fish gotta eat like everyone else. At what point did you become aware that Sal Marcano wanted to build a casino north of the city? Pretty early on. Michael Greco told Lincoln about it. And Lincoln Clay's plan was to specifically target various entities related to Marcano's casino plan? Between the bribes he was paying out to get gambling legalized and the money needed to pay off the commission, Sal was stretched pretty thin. So Lincoln used that to his advantage. Forced Sal into making some extremely hard decisions. Decisions that would limit his options. I'm telling you, we make twice as much bread moving heroin as we would from a stupid fucking casino. Maybe three times. This ain't about the money. <laughs> You're joking, right? All I ever heard from you is, don't give me that goddamn excuses, you understand? You paid me what's fucking old! You think this is a game, <laughs> son? And it's my fault for playing along with you. We're not setting you straight. But it's not a game. This shit wears on you, grinds you down. I ain't had a decent night's sleep in 43 years. And then after Lucho, shit. Well, hey, we got the cocksuckers who did that. Every last one of them. Yeah, and your uncle's still dead, ain't he? Yeah. You think sitting in that chair makes you special, huh? Somehow puts you above all the bullshit. Well, it's the opposite. All it does is paint a giant goddamn bullseye on your forehead. There's a price to be paid for all this, you understand? And I'm tired of paying it. Mainly, I'm worried I'm going to get a phone call telling me you're dead in a gutter somewhere. What do you expect me to do, huh? Work the front door? Glad hand folks as they come on in, maybe give them a quick slap on the ass? You run it with me. And here, after a few years, after I know everything's settled down, you'll take over. Find yourself a nice woman. Give me some fucking grandkids. Sound boring as fuck. It's the only way, son. The world is changing. Used to be people knew their place. Now everybody's screaming about equality. And now they all deserve a slice of the pie. Niggas, nicks, gooks, you name it. Our way of doing things won't work in a world like that. Yeah. You come to me with something like this, Lou, you better be goddamn sure. Yeah. Lincoln Clay is still alive. Fuck me. Whatever you need, she'll get it for you. No denying that. 